And that weather alert tonight, a winter storm warning. Our team coverage continues now with News 8's Garrett Berquist. She's live in Hamilton County, the first county in the state to issue a travel alert, Garrett. Yes, and I'm standing in front of 6,500 tons of road salt. Highway Department staff already have loaded this stuff onto their trucks. They tell me they're not pre-treating the roads yet because tomorrow's rain would wash it away. This far out, officials say they still have to guess where and how much or how many resources they'll need. So for cold weather, um, we carry a winch. Hamilton County officials have spent the past few days making sure emergency crews have the right gear. So we have the snow shovel. That way, uh, you know, again, if we happen to slide off the road. At this stage, that's the main thing emergency managers like Shane Booker can do. For us, it's really trying to understand what are those impacts going to be and listening to that National Weather Service information that they're sharing with us. And as we get closer to the actual event, then we have better understanding of what those impacts may be. But a lot of it still comes down to you know, waiting and, and seeing what's going to happen. These salt trucks can't do their thing yet because of the rain on Thursday. So Booker says black ice will be a major problem Thursday afternoon and evening. The biggest threat on Friday is wind-driven snow. Booker says that will hamper emergency response. It's not about, you know, will your vehicle get through three inches of snow? It's about can you see beyond, you know, the three feet in front of your vehicle? And that's a lot of times where we see people go off the road because they cannot see the road. That's why the best thing you can do is stay home after about midday Thursday. Booker says it helps most schools are on winter break and many people have started their Christmas vacations. That will let him focus on, among other things, keeping his own people safe. When do we bring people in and then where are we going to put them if they need to spend the night so that we have people that are here in the emergency operations center should things deteriorate Friday, Thursday evening and then Friday throughout the day. Booker says don't call 911 unless you have a life-threatening emergency. That will help keep the phone lines open for true emergencies. Live in Noblesville, Garrett Bergquist, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. Okay, Garrett, thank you. Let's turn to News Ace Camilla Fernandez. Yeah, uh, she has some tips to make sure that your home stays warm in these frigid days ahead. Camilla? With the temperatures that we're going to be experiencing Thursday, we anticipate quite a few calls coming in. Dylan Evans is the HVAC manager at Complete Comfort Heating, Air and Plumbing. He wants people to keep several tips in mind this winter. So what we found out here today was a bad blower motor. Uh, unfortunately, the customer had not had a filter in their system for quite some time. And what happened is the evaporator coil ended up becoming their filter. So that large amount of dirt was hugging the bottom of the coil and it caused that blower motor to work harder than it should. Kara Kelsey says the company fixed her furnace after struggling with it, luckily before Thursday's winter storm. Well, I've had a few issues in the past, but nothing significant until the other day when I woke up and our furnace was set at 72, and it said it was about 58 in my house. And with the cold weather coming, I was very concerned. It's mind-blowing how wonderful a service is when you need it quickly and how quickly they got to my needs. Dylan says people should routinely replace their filter. Also, check for leaks to prevent carbon monoxide from entering your home. In the wintertime, there are things that we can catch prior to them happening if we do preventative maintenance on the system. And with the winter storm coming up like we do, you always want to make sure that that system is working the way that it should prior to you waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning and the house being 25 degrees. He wants people to make sure their furnaces aren't working harder than they should be. As you go to work, as you go out and do stuff, never turn your thermostat off or bump it down or up 5 degrees because the system's just going to have to work hard to get back to its normal temperature whenever you do turn it back on. Another tip to keep your furnace in top condition, schedule regular checkups. Camilla Fernandez, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. And our coverage continues on wishtv.com. Right now, grab your phone, scan that QR code on your screen. That will take you to the As Seen On section. Your go-to guide to get through the winter storm. There you'll find uh, closings, travel advisories, safety tips if you need to go out, and much more. It's all right now at wishtv.com.